Hey, it's Matt Moscona. You found it. It's AFR Saints, your home for daily content on your favorite team, the New Orleans Saints. Please subscribe, smash the like button, hit the bell so you're notified whenever we post a new video. And our content this football season is presented by BetUS. Score a 150% bonus on your first deposit and a 125% bonus on your next two deposits up to $2,000 when you use the promo code YouTube150. Enjoy the video. Who that? They are really, really ball aware. They do a great job. Uh, they tip balls at the line of scrimmage. Uh, they have big physical corners, uh, but they, they they take the ball away. They do a good job. Kevin Stefanski talking about the Saints' defense, ability to take the ball away. Could come into play this weekend. Jameis Winston coming back to the Dome. Mary Kay Cabot covers the Browns, has for a long time. Cleveland Plain Dealer. She's at cleveland.com. That's at Mary Kay Cabot, C-A-B-O-T, if you want to give her a follow. Mary Kay, we appreciate the time. How are you? I'm doing great. How are you doing? I'm doing fantastic. Uh, let's just pick up right there. Jameis it was something that was a big conversation when he was here for four years. Probably a conversation after the game against the Chargers, the turnovers. Um, how how are folks there in Cleveland around the Browns organization feeling about Jameis' ability to protect the ball this week? Well, that's going to be paramount, of course, because as you guys know better than anyone, the Saints are great at intercepting it, taking it away. They're number four in the NFL with 12 picks this season. And Jameis knows that he has to protect the ball. It's a point of emphasis. Kevin Stefanski has talked about it, brought it up, and Jameis has as well. So what he has to do when he goes down there is not press, not get outside of himself, and do the things that he learned from, like he told us, like he learned from Sean Payton and Drew Brees when he was there, uh, to not do some of the things uh, that he had been doing in-game, making those kinds of mistakes. So he really reined it in. Uh, when he worked with them, and and he fared well that way when he did play uh, for the Saints, and he got away from that a little bit over the past couple of weeks here. You've uh, you've covered the league for a long time, so you've seen a lot of this where players have gone up against former teams. Do you buy any put any stock, Mary Kay, into the familiarity the Saints knowing Jameis or him knowing them? Well, a lot has changed since since Jameis has been there, and things have changed even more now, of course, with an interim situation going on uh, with the Saints and former Browns defensive coordinator Joe Woods being there. I will say that Joe Woods knows Kevin Stefanski. He knows the way that Kevin Stefanski thinks and kind of vice versa. Mm. So, you know, I think there is something to be said for it, but it probably cancels each other out a little bit since they each know a lot about each other. Um, but more so than anything, what I think could play a factor this game is the fact that I think James is going to be pretty emotional, pretty hyped up to be there. I asked him about that today, and he said he's just going to uh, try to keep, you know, stay even keel, not get outside himself, not get too emotional. But I think it is going to be emotional for him there. He spent a lot of time there. He's an emotional guy, as you know. He's got great, great friends there. Demario Davis just all, always raves about him, as we know. Uh, and he's got tons of other really close friends there. And I do think that sometimes it is a lot when you find yourself in a situation like that where you poured your heart and soul into a team. Uh, there may not be a starting quarter, an opposing starting quarterback that ever gets a louder cheer in the Dome than, than Jameis might this weekend because the fan base loved him as well. We'll get right back to the video. Can the Saints make it two in a row at home against the Browns? They're actually favored in the game. If you want to bet on it, make sure you use BetUS, our great partner here, for AFR Saints. It's easy. Remember, you can get 150% bonus on your first deposit, 125% bonus on your next two deposits, up to $2,000. Make sure you use the promo code YouTube150. Let's jump in, make our bet for this week. I'll show you how easy it is to use. You go to BetUS. Let's choose football there on the left side. You'll get the drop down. We'll choose NFL odds for week 11. We'll find the Saints and the Browns. There it is in that noon central window. Saints are a one-point favorite. They got the interim bump last week. The Browns are coming off the bye. I kind of do like the Saints in this ball game against Cleveland. It's one I think they can get. So we'll pick the Saints. We'll come over here to our bet slip. How much do we want to risk? Let's just say we'll keep it modest, $25. Place my bet. It's going to ask me to confirm. One more tap, and I'll get my confirmation slip. And there it is. We are in, locked in for the Saints, laying one point at home 
against the Cleveland Browns at BetUS. You can do the same thing. Remember, 150% bonus on your first deposit, 125% on your next two deposits, up to $2,000 when you use the promo code YouTube150. Who dat? And enjoy the rest of the video. What else is there offensively understanding? Obviously, Amari Cooper's been traded. There's there's some guys we know in that receiving core, but what what's uh, what pops? What stands out this weekend for Cleveland offensively? Well, the player I think to watch offensively, or at least you know one of them lately who has been heating up is Cedric Tillman. Tillman, second year pro out of Tennessee. He's doing a really nice job. He's finding a nice connection with Jameis Winston. And then Jerry Judy, he's having a nice season in his first year with the Cleveland Browns. So these are a couple of guys that have done uh, pretty well. And then, uh, you know, Elijah Moore, I, I keep thinking that Elijah's going to have a, a really nice breakout game one of these days, and you never know when that's going to come. So if Jameis can stay away from the interceptions, he's going to sling it around there. He's going to take some chances. The Browns are 2-7. and seven. They don't have a whole lot to lose right now. And I think they're going to be aggressive. She's on Twitter at Mary Kay Cabot. Cleveland.com's Cleveland Plain Dealer covers the Browns. Uh, flip it over to the defensive side of the ball. Where's the biggest question defensively for Cleveland? Well, they just traded away Zadarius Smith. He was their second leading sacker behind Miles Garrett with five sacks this season. So now they've got a couple of other guys that are going to step up over there on the opposite side of Miles. Obo Okoronkwo uh, will probably start there, and then a younger guy. Isaiah uh, McGuire will be uh, coming in after, um, you know, after Obo there on that other side. So, uh, so these are, you know, some of the guys to watch for there. And then the, the defensive backs are, are, they are actually looking for their, their first interception of the season. I know that's hard to believe, but the Browns have one interception this whole entire season. They're tied for last in the NFL with the Giants in that category. The one who has the interception is Jeremiah Uusu Koromoa, their excellent linebacker who will not be playing in this game. He's on injured reserve with a neck injury. So they are looking for uh, their defensive back to come up with some picks. So they're going to be uh, making that a point of emphasis, obviously staying within the play and, and playing with, the, you know, being assignment sound, but also looking to, to get those takeaways. Mary Kay, Cleveland was, if you correct me if I'm wrong, but they were one of the, the the better scoring defenses in the league a year ago. And and we've seen that number plummet a bit. What What's happened there on the defensive side of the ball for the Browns? Well, it, it seems as though, uh, you know, a lot of things have happened. There are a lot of factors that have gone into uh, nothing working out very well this season for this football team. But when your offense isn't scoring points, when your offense can't convert the third downs, when you can't stay on the football field and get those points, and get ahead of the game, it puts an enormous strain on your defense. And I think that's probably what's happened with the defense more than anything. And there have been a couple of areas that haven't gone as well as they've wanted. Uh, you know, their second cornerback or their third cornerback, Martin Emerson Jr., hasn't stepped up into the Pro Bowl caliber season. I think they believed he probably would this year. There have been a couple of other guys who haven't had uh, the seasons maybe that they had hoped. And there have been some injuries. So I think all of those things have contributed couple more for you. Um, you mentioned, obviously, things not going great for Cleveland this year. Obviously, we, everyone's familiar with Deshaun Watson's injury. The team's sitting there at 2-7. and seven. The Saints are kind of going through something similar, a, a very disappointing season, especially relative to what the expectations might have been. What's the, the vibe like around the locker room and around the organization right now for Cleveland? Well, the number one thing, of course, is trying to figure out what's going to happen at quarterback. No one knows for sure if Deshaun Watson is going to come back here and play football for the Cleveland Browns again. That is just a question that no one can answer at this time. He's coming off of a ruptured Achilles. He will need at least nine months probably to recover from that, and the Browns have got to figure out what they're doing at quarterback. It's why it's important for Jameis Winston to go out and play well. Can he challenge for some kind of a bridge quarterback role here? Can he challenge for the starting job? So he's got eight more games to put some film out there, show what he can do for this team. And then they've got a couple of other guys on the roster in Dorian Thompson Robinson and Bailey Zappi, uh, who might also get some kind of an opportunity. But that's the number one question here going forward is, who is the quarterback going to be for the Cleveland Browns? And we all know how important it is to get that right. 
Mary Kay Cabot, uh, Cleveland Plain Dealer, Cleveland.com. Two more for you. One, uh, here as we're, we, we talk on Wednesday, the initial injury report was out. Uh, only five players listed there for Cleveland. Uh, anything significant worth keeping an eye on with respect to injuries for Sunday? You know, not really. This is actually the healthiest the Cleveland Browns have been all season long. Every single player on the roster that is active right now practice today, and I have not seen that this season at all. That's the first time I've seen it. Usually you're seeing 14 guys on the injury report, 13 guys on the injury report here, and a bunch that haven't practiced. But everybody that was active practiced today, and that's an absolute first. It's a good sign for the Cleveland Browns. Uh, but I still think that this is going to be a very, very challenging football game for them. So last thing then, if there is a blueprint for Kevin Stefanski and the Browns uh, to get a win in New Orleans, how does it look? Protecting the football. That's it, number one. They need to win the turnover battle. That was the problem last week against the Chargers. Three interceptions uh, by Jameis Winston, and, uh, and he has had five drops in addition to those three five drops in his first two starts here. So protecting the ball is the absolute name of the game. And then the defense may be going out and uh, trying to get a few themselves. And also Miles Garrett doing the best that he can uh, to disrupt Derek Carr. She is Mary Kay Cabot on Twitter at Mary Kay Cabot, C-A-B-O-T. Give her a follow. Cleveland Plain Dealer, Cleveland.com and covering the Browns for a long time. We appreciate it. Uh, Enjoy the football this weekend. Sure. Thanks for having me. Thanks so much for watching the video. Do us a favor, subscribe to the channel, smash that like button, hit the bell so you're notified when we post a new video. And remember to support BetUS, where right now you can get a 150% bonus on your first deposit and a 125% bonus on your next two deposits up to $2,000. Be sure to use that promo code YouTube150.